Using a drill machine, drill holes in the marked locations to fit the isolator cutout switch panel. Fix the isolator cutout switch panel to the input supply board. Then fix the cutout switch over the panel by locking it by the lock with the panel. We have completed the mounting of the fuse box and the isolator cutout switch. But if there is a steel or a wooden panel, we need to cut holes on the input supply board for the inlet and the outlet wires. Step 7. Connect the fuse boxes to the energy meter and the energy meter to the cutout switch. Now we need to connect the fuse boxes to the energy meter and the energy meter to the cutout switch. For that, we need to cut pieces of 2.5 square mm wire that we need to connect to the input supply board. Let us follow the phase color coding and connect all our wires. Well, I have a few cut pieces. Let me show you. Red for the R phase, yellow for the Y phase, blue for the B phase, black for neutral and green for earthing. Are you ready to see? Come, I'll show you. Use a wire stripper to cut and strip the ends of the wire ready for the use. Step 8. Do the wiring for the input supply board. The input supply main has 5 terminals. The 3 phase terminal ends are Y and B. The black neutral terminal end and the green terminal which has the ground wire or earthing. Similarly, the energy meter will also have the four input terminals and four output terminals. R phase input, Y phase input, B phase input, neutral input, R phase output, Y phase output, B phase output and neutral output. Similarly, the fuse cutout will have three input terminals and three output terminals. The R phase input, the Y phase input, the B phase input. The R phase output, Y phase output, B phase output. First connect the input supply wires from the main to the input terminals of all the fuse boxes. Start by connecting the R of the main to the first fuse box. Similarly connect the Y and the B of the main to the input of the second and the third fuse box. Using a suitable screwdriver, tighten the wire connections. Next, connect the output terminals of the fuse box to the input terminals of the energy meter. Start by inserting the red wire into the R phase fuse output. Similarly, insert the yellow and the blue wires into the Y and the B phase fuses output. Connect the R output of the fuse box to the R input of the energy meter. Similarly, connect the Y and the B outputs of the fuse boxes to the Y and the B inputs of the energy meter. Then take the black neutral wire from the input mains and connect it to the input neutral terminals of energy meter.
Finally, we connect the energy meter to the fuse cutout switch. Start by inserting the red wire into the R phase output of the energy meter. Then insert the yellow and the blue wire into the Y and B phase output terminals of energy meter. Then connect the R output of the energy meter to R input of the fuse cutout switch. Similarly, connect the Y and B outputs of the energy meter to the Y and B inputs of the fuse cutout switch. Close the fuse box. Well, it's time for me to leave. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's time for us to leave the earthing wire of the input supply main, the neutral output of the energy meter, the RYB output of the fuse cutoff switch. We will come back to these later when we connect these to the distribution box. Check the display on the energy meter blinking. This indicates the supply is on. Well, that completes the process for input supply wiring.